Hey everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that EWAX removal video today. Uh, on my own today, I thought I'd be with uh, the lovely Mr. Taylor Green, but our clinics didn't quite sync up, so I'm, I'm doing the voiceover on my own today. Um, this is a really long one, so you, know, you might want to settle in for the long haul for this one. Really kind of difficult wax removal to do. Uh, lovely patient, basically just been experiencing lots and lots of hearing issues, and you can see why. This ear canal is jam-packed full of both wax and skin. The piece we're taking away here is just a little bit of skin that's been hanging around the side uh, of that wax plug. So we're just gonna get rid of that first of all. This is the standard size on the tube in here as well. So this is just gonna um, give us that kind of wider end there, that, that bigger grip to start pulling these bits of wax away. Now, what this is, this isn't an, uh, one big continuous plug. This is lots and lots of layers in here. So it's a case of chipping away at this. Uh, Oh, make sure you stay tuned for the ruler shot at the end, guys. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Uh, so we're coming away now. We can see we've got this long strip of skin. I'm trying to bunch some of the skin, some of the wax together here. Uh, you can see everything is just attached. Unfortunately, the, the wax is dried to the skin. The skin is still attached to the canal wall. Uh, so nothing wants to come away easily here. So it is just a case of just very, very slowly taking away piece by piece in this instance. Uh, so just working around the one side of the... Uh, plug now lifting from the base of the canal wall you can see I'm really trying to trying to get this whole plug moving if I can obviously at this point I don't realize that it's lots of little bits all gelled together uh, so I'm trying to think that this larger sort of darker section you can see there it's a little bit of uh, wax on the bottom of the camera there. we'll move that in a second but that larger darker piece you can see at the back there that is one solid uh, block is what I'm thinking but actually it's lots and lots of very dry pieces attached together just starting to come away yeah giving that a little bit of a wiggle and you can see I'm working almost like a clock face around the outside edge of this uh, this wax plug, looking for any looser sections, any sections we can exploit to pull out. Uh, but at the moment, it's proving difficult to get anything moving in here. I think what's been happening here, my my opinion about what's been happening is the patient's been having some issues as far as their hearing is concerned uh feeling it's a bit of a wax issue use the cotton bud use some olive oil things have improved probably because it's just opened a little little gap up around the wax thinking it's come out carried on and then there's been doing this intermittently over a couple of years and what's happened is you ended up with this really really thick solid plug then there we go. You can see that skin underlay there as well, uh, where it just hasn't been able to migrate out. That softer section. Look how all those bits are just disappearing into the end of the suction tube as soon as you get, uh, as soon as you get a sort of a placement on top of that plug. Now we can really see the back end of this uh, wax plug here just starting to move. We're giving this a little bit of a wiggle. There we go, we're trying to spin it here. So this is a long section of dry skin you can see there. It's also attached to a, a chunk of wax. And whereas so far we've had lots of little strips that have come away, now we've got this more solid piece, this more solid block. Uh, this tends to be the sort of older stuff that's been pushed in, pushed in, pushed in, pushed in all the time and compacted together. Um, so this is a much more solid piece here. I'm trying to wiggle this out of the ear canal uh, entrance, but it's just not really budging. It's, it's a little bit stuck. Bit more of a wiggle, there we go. We're starting to get a bit of movement. Now we're starting to see a piece, but I think this is that front section detaching here from the plug beyond. Yeah, it just looks like it took that front, whole front section away there. So we've still got this quite large, chunky piece sitting behind. Oh, don't forget guys, if you do enjoy these videos, uh, you can always like, share, heart, follow, subscribe for me. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, and uh, if you have problems with your own ears, whether that be earwax, hearing issues, any kind of problems like that, tinnitus, you can always uh, check out uh, the link to our website in the bio. Book yourself an appointment, come and see myself or Taylor, and we'll, uh, we'll certainly check you over and see what's going on for you. So we, we've got this plug too big we're breaking this down now at the entrance to the canal just to try and make it small enough to be able to get it out let's give that a bit of a wiggle uh i think probably guys taylor you'll probably see taylor next 
for probably next Friday's video, I think, uh, where our, our clinics are kind of syncing up at the moment. Um, so you'll probably have me for the next couple of videos, and then me and Taylor will be back together again for a, a few more later on in the week. There we go. Now you can see that plug breaking down. You can see it wasn't quite solid. It's quite flexible in the middle. So it's all these pieces just starting to stretch out and, and because they've got a bit of room, they're starting to come away from each other in there. There we are. It's coming around. There we go. Let's try and lift this section here as well. really having to kind of work it not only down the canal but sort of twist it as it gets to the entrance of the canal to get this out but we're still going in here there is so much wax in this here canal it's literally chock a block from front to back so it's really coming away now and it's always the case when you've loosened the wax plug up a little bit especially with these ones which are all pieces uh, sort of almost welded together um, when you start to loosen that plug up then you start to notice and you get a bit more space in there everything's just got a little bit more room to move and then it starts coming away a lot more freely so it's always that first couple of minutes as you're breaking down that compacted plug uh, that's a problem and then it kind of opens up a little bit from there but we're still going in here there is so much wax in this ear canal like i said make sure you stay tuned for the ruler shot at the end um you'll see why so let's try and give this a little bit of a lift now this is more awkward now we're deeper and it's perfectly formed to the canal walls all the way around so not the easiest one to move at this point I'm just trying to hold on to a section and not so much pull up, but just draw it away from the eardrum at this point because it's really, really deep. So you can't go um, really kind of pushing the suction tube into that plug because we don't want to push it back and onto the eardrum, which would be very uncomfortable for our patient. So what we're doing here is we're just pulling this forward slightly. That's just... It's not quite, ah, there we go. Now we've pulled it forward. Now we're away from the eardrum. It gives us a little bit more uh, leeway as how much movement we can put onto this wax plug because it's not gonna be pushing against the drum anymore. But you can see just how dark this plug is, how old this wax is. It's just absorbing every inch of light that, we've, that we're putting into this ear canal. It's just all getting sucked up by this wax plug. Right, so we've got it forwards. Now, to me, that looks a little bit stuck. I'm just going to see if we can move. Yeah, I'm trying to spin here at this point. Sometimes if you can just turn the plug enough, you'll just get that little bit of a gap either side of it and you can draw it down the canal then. There we go. It's, uh, I, th I think that's pretty wedged. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're bringing the Rosen inserter in here. The reason I'm going for Rosen inserter over Jobson Horn, you can see as soon as I touch that wax plug, it dropped back a little bit. So if we use the Jobson Horn, it's a slightly thicker end on it, it would have pushed it much, much further in. So we're going in with the Rosen inserter here. I'm just trying to turn this wax. There we are, it broke that front end off. You can see it's gone almost crumbly now. That's how old this next bit of wax is. Lots of little tiny bits of hair embedded in there as well, which is not helping because it's holding everything together. <laughs> Fighting it, doesn't want to get picked up by the rose inserter. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to try and go in into that little gap just at the top there, I think. There we go. That's not working the way I want it to be that little bit more solid ideally at this point for the Rosen inserter because what well, as you can see it is breaking bits off but it's breaking these chunks away so I've switched back now to the um, Zolna tube just to tidy up some of the little bits and this happens a lot when you use curatage so when you when you use a curette which is uh, any sort of manual tool we've got in the ears known as curatage but the tool itself is known as a curette so when you go in and you um, use some curatage a lot of the time you get little bits will break away off the main plug and they all sort of collect at the bottom of the ear canal so i tend to go in once i've used uh, a tool i'll tend to go in and use a slight you'll use the suction just to tidy up saint bart's hook perfect we create the little gap there wider end on the saint bart's hook even that is struggling here though as well because it's just pulling through this plug it's not it needs all of these sort of tools, need this slightly more solid plug really to work effectively. But whoa, there we go. There is Essence, spoke too soon. 
I did this removal as well, guys. <laughs> I promise it was a couple of weeks ago, and I can't remember it. But look at the size of that plug. And that's on top of, and there's still more in there. Um, <laughs> that's on top of what we've already taken away. Um, somebody said in the comments on uh, the video I put on about the teenagers waxing all your arms, they must be naked. Do you know what they do? Um, because you are literally holding brace, you're not resting on anything, so you're bracing there all the time. So your arms are up in this direction all the time. Um, and they're only getting any rest really when you take whatever it is out of the ear canal, you're, you're taking it off the end of the suction. Um, so sometimes I will sort of chat to the patient and drop my arms down just to give them a little, just let the blood flow back to my fingers for a little bit uh, before we carry on. So it's yeah, trick of the trade there guys, if you ever see us doing that. Um, so we're just pulling this next part of the plug forward. It's still a big chunk of wax, this one. Going back to the Rosen inserter here, uh, I just want to see if I can pull this forward a little bit more. The reason we're going Rosen insert, Ro Rosen insert I'll put my teeth in, instead of St. Bart's Hook to, uh, for this particular point of the wax removal, St. Bart's Hook would, uh, if there wasn't enough gap, we had to go in there with the Rosen inserter because that nice thin end on the inserter there. There we are, just coming down. Out we go, there we are. Nice big chunk again, my goodness me, there was, I'd forgotten just how much wax was in this. And don't forget, this is still uh, one ear canal, okay? This is not two ear canals so far, this is just still the first ear canal. So it's coming away really, really well. Now it's starting to break down. Patient could already hear much better, because as soon as you start, my goodness me, look at the size of that one. As soon as you start taking, <laughs> it's just huge, uh, these bigger plugs out, and we create a gap around it, that's when the patient can start to hear better. I can see there's more wax further in as well. So we are still going on this ear canal. There I just see a glimpse of the eardrum beyond though, which is great, so uh, we're coming to the end of it now. But my goodness me, Taylor would have loved this one as well. He would have enjoyed this one, the voiceover. So we're really getting this uh, this last plug. I'm hoping this is the last plug anyway, uh, because by this point, I need a cup of tea and my arms need a blood supply left to them. So we're just taking this one away. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, no, we're still more in there. Let's get this one out as well. There we go. Out that one comes. That's got to be the end of it now. No, nope, a little bit stuck around the corner. Let's give it a you. My goodness. There we go. And that's not a small plug either that was stuck around the bend in that ear canal. That was, that was pretty chunky. Let's take a look. I've switched down to the fine end now. I'm just literally going to take this piece at the bottom away here. Um, there we go. Just tidy up some of these sort of smaller, looser pieces there. There we go, we can see the eardrum. Now you can see the sort of flecked marks on the eardrum there. That's one where the wax was right up against the drum. So when I say that ear canal was chock-a-block, it was literally full from front to back. That plug went all the way down to the eardrum. So you can see just how much difficulty this patient would have been having. Um, longer plug in this one, not as blocked in fairness. There's a bit of a gap at the top here, but this is quite a long plug. We've got that layer of skin. You can see me just working on there. So let's get rid of that first of all, so we can, oh, we're still going. There we are, almost a ribbon there, guys. So you can see there was this long strip of skin that's gone in there. My advice to this patient, as with a lot of patients really, uh, is to use a bit of olive oil in there um, just to keep everything nice and soft, keep everything um, working down the canal, stopping that skin from drying out, stopping the wax from sort of hardening up. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a split second. So we're just trying to move this plug down the canal now. Still giving this a little bit of a wiggle. The difficulty when you have these longer plugs, uh, they can be a little bit more awkward to get out because of the natural bends in the ear canal. So these longer plugs do tend to form into that sort of gentle S shape sometimes. So as you're pulling on the front end, that rear end is holding everything in. Uh, it's still crumbling down this one as well. It's, uh, it's that more sort of dry and brittle type of wax here. And you can see it's really loosened that front end, exactly the same as the other side. This front section here seems to be lots of little bits that are all layered over the top of one another. I had a bit of difficulty getting this next part of the plug away. 
I think it's because it's connected to a bunch of skin here at the bottom. Hopefully, guys, you were sticking through this one as well. Uh, like I did say at the start, it is a long one. Uh, quite a, a, a sort of painstaking one to do as well, just because of the amount of wax in both of your canals. There we go. You can see that was quite a long piece there. Look at that coming away. Nice long strip there of dead skin. And when you're getting these pieces of dead skin away, it does make a difference because they do tend to bind uh, the plug together and they're forming the glue that's holding all these little bits together at the moment. Let's lift this section out. Just blocking the suction tube then. So when you're doing these kind of wax removals, these little tiny bits are getting sucked into the end of the tube. A lot of the time you're taking the suction tube out repeatedly just to flush it through or get rid of any bits that are actually adhered to the end of the tube with the suction. There we are, now we've got a larger piece on the move. Let's give this a little bit of a wiggle. Is this going to come away or are we going to have to use some curatage on this? It's definitely on its way. You can see it's just got to the outer part of the ear canal there. Just trying to pull one of the sides through. Let's try again. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. There we go. A bit more of a wiggle. That's on its way now. Is it attached to the piece behind? No. So that's a nice big chunk gone there. So we're breaking this front end down here. It means we've got a little bit more room to maybe negotiate the next section around that bend. Uh, this is a bit of skin as well. My goodness me. This wax is just fighting you every inch of the way. Nothing wants to come out easily. There we go. Let's give that a bit of a wiggle. Out that comes. There we go. You can see that section gone there as well. And the next section, let's give this a little bit of a wiggle as well. It is just pulling all of these sections away here. We've still got those layers running through this. Bit more, there we go. Out that piece comes. Right, that was a, ooh, that's a good size piece. That's what you want to see is pieces that size coming out. I can just see a glimpse of the eardrum beyond there. So let's get rid of this little bit of dead skin at the base of the canal. You can see how the skin comes away there. Look, look at that whole section that was sitting at the base of the canal. But let's take a look beyond it. There we go. There's the eardrum. So not going quite as deep on that one, but still a fair size plug. Check this ruler shot out though, guys. Look at that. Now, I, normally I line the pieces up side by side, uh, but I knew I was going to run out of ruler space, so I just bunched them all together there. So, uh, it, you know, look how the depth on that as well. That's nine centimeters, three and a half inches worth of earwax that came out of both those well earwax and skin. That's without the debris that you can see on the left hand side of the paper as well. Whew. That was a tough one. Right, I'm going to go and have a very well-deserved cup of tea. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did voicing it over. Um, as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye, everyone.